Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another one of my videos here. Today I have a Syndicate deck for you, and it revolves around the Pirate's Cove leader ability. This allows us to spawn a Sea Jackal on an allied road, and we have two charges of, of this. So the benefit of using this leader ability is that it allows us to manage the profit we gain from playing bounty cards in this deck with greater ease. So, you know, we're at less risk of over profiting because we can just spawn a Sea Jackal and uh, manage, manage the coin amounts we're getting, you know, fairly quickly that way during a match. But before we get further into it, we're going to take it from the bottom up and I will explain to you guys how best to play this deck that I've put together. Um, to give you a, just a general overview of the deck, it revolves around the bounty archetype. So we'll be placing bounties on our opponent's units. When we destroy the unit, we get coin value equal to the base power of the unit we destroyed, okay? So the way we get profit by playing this deck is destroying our opponent's units. And um, yeah, we're just playing out the bounty cards, really. So at the bottom here, we've got two vigilantes. Whenever a bounty is placed on an enemy unit, damage it by two. The way we want to play the vigilantes is you can take one into the first round and you play this down first thing before you go ahead and start playing your bounty cards out obviously it's going to give us that benefit of damaging by two so it's a nice way to get things started you can take one with you when you play the witch finder and um, also in the first round smuggle i've added, added this card in here um, it does give us profit three and allows us to spawn a unit so you know i try to make this deck as flexible as possible in different situations and you know maybe there's some times when your opponent passes and you kind of have to throw a card out put some points down on the board so smuggles nice to use in that occasion you know if your opponent's pass you go into a long round three play smuggle you get a bit of coin carry over into the next round and you get that unit out down on the board you can also use it just to generate some coin value when needing some more um, coins to do damage with freak show or whatnot in this deck we do have double assault in here you get the damage and enemy unit by four it's just a nice bit of removal to have it this time um you know if you're coming up against Scoia'tael faction and they're playing those elf units with those order abilities um the seer and whatnot works pretty good just four points of damage meditating mage four points of damage just kill it get out of there um even some other mages in the northern realms faction that we see just a nice piece of removal to use so yeah use those freely throughout the match dip in the ponta another way to get some profit outside of playing bounty lets us to damage an enemy unit by three as well okay so the cards to synergize with playing bounty this is one of them okay the witch hunter executioner it's going to give us profit two when we play it Give an enemy unit bleeding for one turn, but if it has bounty, damage it by one instead. Carry one of these into the first round and the other one when you're playing Witchfinder. So with all the duplicate copies we have, that's pretty much the theme. You want to carry one set of the copies for the first round and one for later to play it out, okay? Just to give us consistency when we're playing those bounty cards. So, um, you know, for example, your opponent plays a unit. You go ahead, give the unit bounty, and then next... Um, you can go ahead and play the Witch Hunter Executioner, kill it down, okay? If it doesn't have bounty, you're just going to be doing bleeding, all right? Which isn't that bad, too. Purge. Damage an enemy unit by three. Increase the damage by one for every Witch Hunter on your side of the battlefield. So it kind of makes sense that we want to have as many of these Witch Hunter units down as possible before we play Purge. But, you know, use it flexibly as you need it. It can generate a decent amount of value and also sets up bounty because on death blow, place a bounty on the highest power enemy unit. So that's nice. Uh, we do have Kurt in here. We can use this as a purify if the witch finder gets locked. We want to keep her going. Um, you know, her ability to give a bounty to a unit is very beneficial to us. So it's nice to have Purify. But you can also use Purify on your opponent's Defender. Uh, maybe if they've got a, a unit with Resilience status, you can Purify that. But the nice thing with Kurt is that if we play it on the melee row, it places a bounty on an enemy unit. 
So a good thing here could be that if you've got a full pouch, right? And um, you don't want to over profit because some of the cards that we play, they're going to give you coins when you when you deploy them. And But you need to put a bounty on a unit, you know, you can play Kerr. So say if you've got a, a unit such as the Executioner down on the board, it's ready to go. You just need to give bounty, but you've got a full pouch. Go ahead and play Kurt on the melee row. That's a decent example. Ignatius Hail. So with the deploy, damage this unit by its tribute cost. Tribute Knight, cancel the deploy ability. So it starts at Tribute Knight. Whenever you place a bounty on an enemy unit, reduce this unit's tribute cost by one. So our theme of our deck, as I said, it's very heavily focused on the bounty style. And the reason for that is because we've got cards such as this, which pay off later towards the end of a match. Um, and they're going to pay off better for us the more bounty plays we're able to do during a match. So um, whenever you place a bounty on an M unit, reduce this unit's tribute cost by one. Just keep that in mind. We want to play as many bounties as possible. And um, this card will give us some great value because we won't have to pay that much tribute by the end of a match for it. Um, you know, so like even if you don't have the coins and you just slam it down and it's like tribute two, you know, this is going to play six for ten, which isn't bad. But you'll find that we're able to get these cards play for almost full value, you know, very little tribute cost. So this is a card you save for the end of a match uh, when you're finishing up the game. And... Um, you know, during the match, when you're seeing it in your hand, just shuffle it back into the deck because we can use Octavia here to draw out up to two of Octavia's um, sons to our hand, okay? So that's one of them there. So when you see this card in your hand, just shuffle it back in the first round. Don't keep it. You can think of keeping it as you're seeing it in the second and third round come up. Freak Show is a nice card to have. Um, very good, consistent way to work with the damage we can generate um, through the bounty archetype we're playing here. Profit 2, damage an enemy unit by 2, fee 2, played on the melee row. Um, you can play it in the first round if you like. You know, it just, just depends on your hand how it's looking. You definitely want to have one unit which can deal damage. So Witch Hunter Executioner or Freak Show, however it's looking. But if you can save him for later with the Witch Finder, that's probably more optimal of a play. Octavia Hale, draw up to two of Octavia's sons to your hand, then shuffle back the same number of cards. Right, so um, the way I like to use Octavia, one example could be in the first round, I like to play Scoundrel to be honest, um, this card here. So there's a list of the cards she can draw by the way, and we are playing all of them, so we get full value out of having her in our deck. Um, look at her as a way to get access to these cards, all right? So she's going to allow you to put these in your hand. And remember, it shuffles the deck, which is interesting to note as well with this card. But the way I'd like to play this, um, say in the first round, I need a good spender to deal damage. Scoundrel's Knights is 12 points. It puts us up there. And I don't have Scoundrel in hand. I'd play her in the first round to get Scoundrel. Or as I said, you could save her towards the end of a match and just use her to get access to these other cards too. Furco, um, I've added this card in here just for some thinning, extra consistency in getting towards the cards that we need. Um, you always want more access into your deck um, and to balance that out with the kinds of cards you have. So this allows you to play a crime card from your deck. So, you know, if you need, like I said, it, maybe if, if, if it's on a pass and you need to play some points out, you can play Furco into Smuggle to get some coin carryover. Um, Furco could also help you deliver bounties with Slander. Um, wait, did I miss Slander? <laughs> I think I'm gonna miss Slander as I was explaining this to you guys. Um, well, if I did, yeah, Slander allows, gives you profit three and you get to place a bounty on an enemy unit. We've got two of these. So, um, yeah, if your opponent plays a unit, throw Slander on it, then you want to go down and throw Witch Hunter Executioner or Freak Show, okay? But as I was explaining, with Furco, you know, you could use it to get Slander or another crime. So we do have Fabian in this deck too. He's got Intimidate tags, so when we play crime cards, it's going to be boosting. Fabian's a card you can use flexibly throughout the match. Probably works good with Witchfinder better. 
Uh, you get to place a bounty on an enemy unit. If there already was an enemy unit with a bounty, gain coins equal to its base power. So you could deploy Fabian and then, uh, you know, click another unit to put a bounty on if you want, and you're still getting the initial bounty tag coin value. So it's pretty good. As you can see, it's just another way to generate more bounties in the deck. It's going to make um, the Brute better. It's going to make Ignatius better. We're, we're playing so many bounties here. Once again, Menge, another card which can place a bounty on an enemy unit. Gives you profit three, so you definitely get one bounty insured playing him initially. It's got a cooldown of one. Very nice way to play Menge is, um, you know, your opponent plays a unit, you drop him down, place the bounty. Next turn, play something like Freak Show, Executioner, Scoundrel, any one of those spenders. You kill that card off, you get the coin value back, and then you can place another bounty immediately and kill the next unit off. So you can do a lot of board wiping um, with this, this kind of synergy we have here. Graydon makes a lot of sense um, to add him in into a bounty deck. He gets to destroy an enemy unit with a bounty. So, I mean, we have that value anyway of destroying a unit, which is very nice, um, even if we don't have the Tribute. But on Tribute 5, we get to boost him by that unit's base power. So this could work very good against Monsters and Skellige. they got higher base power units, typically. Uh, we go for Valley Bank, gives us profit, allows us to look into the deck. Use it as you need it, when you need a card in particular. Poor Sun Jr. We are a Devotion deck here, as you guys can see. So um, he gets to damage any unit you want, um, you know, on, on his, when you play him on deploy. Damage a boosted enemy unit by six. Gain a coin for every point of excess damage dealt as well. But we got this tag here, we got the Devotion tag. So we get to damage anything and he's got a spending um, ability as well. Destroy an enemy unit with three power or less. Scoundrel is a pretty sick card. Um, as I explained to you guys, it's nice to open up in the first round. Like what I do optimally is we have this stratagem here, Tiger's Eye. Uh, allows us to gain five coins. So what you do is you click Tiger's Eye, you got five coins, and then you can drop Scoundrel. And you know, you can pick something that you've got enough coins to kill. And um, you know, be wise about the card you pull out. First of all, make sure you can kill it. You've got enough coins to kill it. Um, you know, make it, try to pick a card that's really going to mess with your opponent. Like maybe they've got um, some kind of a card in there that thins out another one of its copies. That's pretty good if you can kill something like that. So first round play, Scoundrel. Witchfinder, definitely save her for the end of a match. She gives us three coins on deploy, and she's just going to keep putting bounties on the highest powered enemy unit. So she could be pretty nice to set up Graydon. Um, you know, you could play her. You can wait till your opponent plays something good, then you can play her, gets a bounty, then you can play Graydon, kill it. The Brute, not a bad card. Um, initially, it starts off like this with this profit and this boost for deploy. But as you can see, boost is equal to the base power of the last destroyed enemy unit with a bounty. Just keep that in mind. And whenever you place a bounty on an enemy unit, increase this unit's profit by one. So we're playing the Brute. Definitely in the in the third match, I think it's best. Maybe as a, a kind of a finisher. Um, but you can do it in the second too. By then, you probably could have got some value out of this. So yeah, but not a bad cut. Plays well, plays well. And yeah, with the leader ability... I would recommend just saving it towards the end of a match, you know, when you go for the finish. And um, when your patch is full, drop the Sea Jackals down and just spread the points out across the two of them as, as it's safe to do so. And just manage the coins you're going to get from destroying units. Just be wise about it. Alright guys, this is my deck. I hope you're going to enjoy it. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. Thanks heaps for the support. So we can use... What was her name again? This new card. Octavia Hale to pull out the uh, Suns. So I can put that back. Purify, maybe. 
Get rid of that. Yeah, one vigilante for the first and off. Cool. Let's go like this to begin with. Confession extraction. Extractor. Right. So have a peek in deck what we got. Yes, scoundrel. Good, good. Uh, have a look what we can pull out. Get this out. Damage it by two of the vigilante. Just kill it down. Just do that. So vigilante is nice because whenever a bounty is placed on an enemy unit, damage is by two. So it's just a nice setup that we can have. Scoundrel. Yep, they've got a good style too. Um, so... I guess coin management... Something that I probably still need to work on with this deck myself. We are wasting coins if I go slander now. Let's do that. We can go Graydon onto it. I mean, it's pretty good Graydon target. Anyway, by killing that, we're over profiting, I guess. And that's why we're using the leader, you know, it's to, to manage the amount of coins we have easier. But you want to save leader for later as much as possible. Alright. Can purify it? Do that. Graydon plays big on Scoundrel here, though. We'll pay the fee. It's going to boost by the unit's base power. So, 12 point boost is pretty good. We'll take that. Really nice. Okay, let's do it now. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Oh, we got Witchfinder out. That's not too bad for us. So he could have... Graydon himself just to kill that off, I guess. Do have a lot of coins. Let's just pass. We already got Witchfinder out, that's nice. But that's nice to get out of them for the first. Yeah, I have to go Graydon here. Yeah, that wastes the coin too. Okay. Interesting matchup, these kinds of mirror matchups that we have the same cards, similar cards to us in deck. So pretty much we're looking to take our 
bounty cards in as much as possible. We can put that away for Octavia to get for us. Okay. Portal, okay. Just kill that off. Probably don't want that there. They get a lot of value playing bounties with vigilantes down. Same way we do. Just kill it as we see it. Try to not give many targets for now. Menge, yeah. Yeah, they're really trying to get hard with the bounties here. So this will give us profit three. Say if we were to drop Freak Show, yeah, we'd still be okay for coins. I think we want to make it awkward for them, you know, we don't really want to have units down. So we'll play kind of unitless a bit. Let's play unitless. Make it awkward. Executioner. Yep. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Just thinking if we should kill that with an assault. So nine coins. Okay, we'll do this. Yep, good. I always kill that off too. That's a nice board wipe. Nice. OBS, anything but NR resilience, I'll support it. <laughs> yeah, I just first that deck with this um, before I came on stream for a bit of a warm up match and bet it. So, because we've got a lot of removals in this deck, man. This deck's like really uh, removal heavy, so it's enjoyable to play because those mages are kind of meta at the moment, hey? Uh... Yeah, why not go Vigilante? We're looking to be an okay spot here so far in this match. I think we put some good pressure on go on Unitless. But yeah, our cards are kind of identical. Probably kills this. Ah, oh, slander. Yeah, slander. So they're gonna do a bit of board, board wiping themselves back to us, maybe. Um, okay, I wish they had something better than that there. Let's just do this, get some points. Bit bit awkward. There's only a two-point unit down on the floor there. Uh 
justice. Should have killed it. Yep. That could be his only spender. Go down by four, they're on 12. So we get ahead like this. Come on. Let's get card advantage. Not that I don't play in our resilience, mind you, but I do feel dirty. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, full value. So... If I go leader, that's four points. Seven. T. Uh, is that enough like that? Let's have a look. So it goes down by two, puts him on 22. That's it. We get the card advantage, it's good. Nice, nice. And we got good cards coming up, guys. All right. Yep, yep. Good cards. Brute. Yeah, so as far as a spender, we just got Sea Jackal, the leader. Octavia Hale. Okay. So we're going for Ignatius with that. Yourself by five, profit three. Well, that's not bad. So they need a crime card to do three points of damage. This card works different now. Uh, maybe we could distract them by playing Witchfinder. We don't necessarily have anything to damage with. But it's going to help us set up Ignatius maybe better. So let's do this. Yeah, so basically whenever we play a bounty, reduce this unit's tribute cost by one. So be tribute five now. End of our turn. Yeah, I mean we got Sea Jackal, we got coins. Oh yeah, it's a lot of <laughs> Wow man, tunnel drill's so strong, eh? <laughs> My god. Wow. Maybe, just trying to think what's the best play here. So we're getting five coins. Maybe we're just going for a big sea jackal. Or should I play that? Twelve. Um, 
think I'll just do this. Just finish up with Sea Jackal. Edoc, what's up, man? Welcome, fellow Crave member, Edoc. Yeah, we got points, guys. That's good. We got it. Uh, we'll just play this out. Awesome. GG, guys. GG. Beautiful. Pretty interesting matchup. Access to Scoundrel to play in the first. Access to the Brute, Ignatius for later. Do you want to keep one of these? Obviously we want to be dealing damage consistent. I put one of these back. Yeah, it's pretty heavy on the removals out hand. Okay, we can just look for scoundrel now. It's not personal. Strictly business. Ponta could go back. All right, let's do that. Imperial practitioner. So what can they spawn? They can spawn slander right now. If you really want slander, go and take it, man. I'm not gonna stop you. H torture. Bit of torturing business happening. Let's kill it off. Let's get that money. And yeah, I think we just pass there. And you know, Perch could kill this now if we want. It's going to increase the damage by one for every witch hunter on our side of the battlefield. But the problem with this that I come across is, you know, when these guys are doing this, these are veiled. So it makes bounty weird. Unless we want to go... Could go scoundrel. What's he got in deck? So we got another practitioner. Maybe that's good for us. Yeah, good. We have to work around the veil somehow. Dead man's tongue. So we can't give bleeding because they're veiled. We can't give bounty because they're veiled. What can we do guys? <laughs> we can kill one with purge. So I'll put him five points down. Yeah, 14. Do I want to waste that here, but I feel like that's a waste, isn't it? We're in a, I feel we're in a dominant position. Might just pass. I just feel failed units, like how far are we gonna get past this? He's gotta waste the coins, does he? Uh, yeah, he's got to simulate. 
Okay. Well, you know, at least it's not imprisonment where a long round three is a lot more sketchy, I think. Imprisonment north guard. They just shut you down with their leader. Ooh, good cards. Nicely done. Oh, there we go, guys. This is a, a very productive stream. Boost off by five sounds pretty good. It's a fantastic stream today, guys. Could use Furco into Smuggle on the pass. Get coin carry over. Ponta does give us coins too. Maybe we don't really need assault in this matchup. Remy? The job's a job. Probably don't want that there. Bounty, bounty. Probably don't want to play purge yet either. I think we just go onto onto that. We don't want to give them units to use the coins they have. So let's just do this. We'll try to set something up good with Perch. We can kill that and then we're going to get Bounty done. That's better. Yeah. That's what we want to see. Okay, so it goes about it like that. We over profit there, but let's do this over profit by a coin. Yo, Pinkin, what's up, my friend? How are you? I love this bounty deck. Been playing it since the new patch. Ah, oh, that's great. Nice to hear. I've just put this one together. This is my own version of it. But yeah, I like it too, um, especially because we can generate so much control. And, you know, the mages are a bit of a problem at this time, those resilience mages. So yeah, I came up against one of those um, decks and pretty much just bet it. The guy forfeited, so... I like the control we have with this deck, for sure. Oh, it's, uh, he's left it there for us. Okay. Get seven. Three. Witch Hunter, so Purge. I mean, I could kill that with Purge. Yeah, could do that. This is a Witch Hunter, there's just not. We're ahead on points. Let's do that. Vilgefortz. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Wow, pulls that horse on. Ah, oh, man. You scallywag. How could you do that? It's looking like a good grade and target, isn't it? Uh, we do remove a lot of points. We can set that up through perch. So let's go like this. And it gives us coins too doing this. Yep. 
Little do they know what's about to go down if they play on. Five coins on standby for Graydon. <laughs> They're getting some unlucky pulls here. <laughs> oh man. That's what we want. We want good luck on our side. Yeah, it's, it's probably a good time to go great and um, we'll keep us ahead, right? Let's get rid of Ilga Forts. Yeah, we happy with that, we happy. Brutes looking better here. Not necessarily looking to go Menge on any of these. Ah, let's do that. Terra Nova. It's gonna be bleeding though. Yeah, it's just bleeding. It's not damage because he doesn't have bounty. Yeah. Prop at five. Wait, should I go this now? So go down by one, two, three, four, five. I'll see you. Use horse sun on his spender. Yeah, cowboy, I agree with you. Yep. He dies next spot to the bleeding. Well, it goes leader. Which finder? How are they going to use that? Pirates Cove leader. Wow. Interesting. Well, we got Prophet Six here. Short on coins like that. Trying to think, what are we doing here, man? Uh, let me see. Profit six. So they're going all in. Wow, Brayton's too. Your name, young man, demands you be cursed into an earth. It's a shame I have no. Alright then, we're gonna do it too. Except sometime, they're quite fresh. We're gonna do it too then guys. Let's do this. What's the profit here? Six. Boost off by three. Let's play that. Be careful not to step in it. We 
we need our sea jackal. Ignatius is three. Ignatius is looking good for us though, even after that, it's just tribute to, so we could get 12 point unit here. Come on baby, give me Ignatius, okay we got bank, place a bounty, do we need that now, place a bounty, what are we going to use that for, executioner? Nah, we're not doing that, are we? Bounty. I don't think we're doing this. Okay. Good. Tribute to. We just need one coin. And who are we playing with that? Maybe we're just going for points at this stage. It's a very short round. I'm just looking for a high, high number. Get assault, four points of damage. Yep. What have they used for removal? They've used Filgerforts. So they got Yennefer last. I think I'm going to boost this instead. Uh, we'll just play it like this. Yeah, let's do that. I think it's a wiser play. <laughs> yes! Yes, yes, yes. I told you guys. I told you guys. I know I know my stuff. Tavia. Tavia could get a scoundrel. Salt. Menges, nice. So when it's like this, I could just go for scoundrel. They want the pie to see which is burnt. You just provide the kindling. Who do we want to put back here? 
Maybe it's soul. <laughs> 6 a.m. Yeah, yeah. Like, I work night shifts, so I stream throughout like 3, 3 a.m. onwards over here in Australia. Double kill task, a lot of fun. A bit more friendly. Keltalus was the first deck that I got to pro rank with when I first started playing Gwent. So I like Keltalus. I think it's a cool card. I think we just want to... I think it's alright like that. So he's playing Relics with Carapaz. Yeah, we can still kill it. Nice. Self eater and incubus. <laughs> you guys are funny. Foot fetish. Ah, the places your minds go, guys. Yes, yeah, so they're playing relics with carapace. We need coins, don't we? Oh, we can do this. But, uh... Should probably try to set that up. Um... So we could get Graydon onto it, pay the tribute. Oh, she who knows. Oh, far. Oh, crap. Uh, let's do this. Is a of great power. Great in value, yeah. Really nice, eh? Hey? Definitely worth boosting, you know, paying the tribute on those kind of situations. Profit two. The job's a job. Let's just damage this down. Yeah, that works. I can't give these things freaking bounty, man. 
Can you believe it, guys? Look. They're all veiled. But he doesn't have Sabbath for Flying Bacon over here. So... We'll see. We just want a long round three, man. We don't want to get bled by these guys. They're pushing so hard, dude. <laughs> They're throwing the kitchen sink at us here. Yeah, yeah. When I tested Kelly, felt kind of dirty. Hmm. <laughs> Wait a second, what am I playing now? Oh crap, they could pass here. They play on. They threw everything at us this round. Mamuna, she who knows. They played both. Both of these. It's a lot of points. Seventeen points up. I think we're losing on even here, guys. They use leader everything. They two leader charges, Mamuna <laughs> Every relic under the sun. Oh man. Yeah, that was a bit of a rough one. Thing is, we need to get coins somehow. Riders? Probably just passes now. Plays. Organic. Oh, no way. That's just crazy now. <laughs> well, they did give us a number of units here too. This is looking rough. Come on, baby, come on. Dive as well. Oh my gracious. Oh, late for the best buyers. 
At least let's like damage this down, right? And maybe we even click one leader now. Just so we don't get card down. Goes Brewess. Oh, he failed. She who knows. That's going to be counterproductive for them, guys. If I can make it to the next, because it uh, means it can't get resilience. <clears throat> it can't get a status then, because it got Veil now. It's the highest base power unit, isn't it, here? Yeah. Um... He just pass. Yeah. <laughs> On the way, man. <laughs> uh, crap. Oh, wait, should I give a unit bounty now to just to give more value here? Yeah, I should give something bounty, right? So we'll go. So I don't think this gets resilience now, yeah? <laughs> yes. I have my tricks up my sleeve. I know the game. It cannot completely destroy me. Maybe almost. Do we need coins? Good job, Mr. Opponent. <laughs> it happens, eh? People forget that. They think they're protecting it, but... Doesn't necessarily work that way. Ah, oh, first card. Thank the stars. Oh, yes. Come on, guys. We're gonna win. We're gonna win. <laughs> Man, it's a long shot, that way. Honestly. But they threw a lot at us. They did. They threw a lot, too. It's a big boy. Why doesn't it have the veil tag on the front of this card? Should have the symbol. I don't know what's going on with that. Um, sequencing of play. Place a bounty or damage. What do we want to do? Maybe we're just going like this. We don't really care about bounty. You'd be surprised how many points we got right now, guys. We got points, man, we do. Check it out. Check it out. Final match of the stream. Do we have it? 
Come on. Bring me the W. Bring me the W, baby. Yo, we did it. We did it. Oh my. What? <laughs> oh 